Hey guys, this is Dan from Roma Overland Vehicles. Another quick video. This is how we waterproof the motherboards on the Max Air fans. We've had a lot of issues with moisture and the motherboards, they don't mix very well. Your fans will start going haywire, they'll open up and close and open and the fans won't work. So uh, what we do before we ever install a fan is put, it's called a conformal coating. It's what they use to waterproof motherboards. I'll put a link for it down below. Um, the One of the first people I saw do this was Everlanders. They have a really good YouTube channel, you should check theirs out. Um, but I'll show you how we take it apart and coat the motherboard. First thing is removing all the stuff on the top or bottom of the fan, however you look at it. Phillips head in there. These turn. This is like the screen. This is the, this is how you clean it too. If you ever want to clean your fan, just remove that thing. Then you can gain access to all of this. But there's four screws. So now the motherboard is underneath where all the buttons are. So I've already undone the zip ties on here, but there's a couple zip ties you'll have to snip to get it to fully pull out. Um, there is a wire here, you pop it out, and you can disconnect this one. And then another one over here, you'll have to disconnect. That's your power cord, so when you actually wire it in. So what we're left with is just the motherboard here. There's three screws, one there, one there, and one there. And then this wire from the IR sensor coming over. So we'll disconnect that. And then I'll take those screws out. Okay, I think I'm ready. Already filming, yeah. There's little tiny plastic washers where the screws are. So when you take those out, just be careful. And don't go ripping this thing out. There's a ribbon cable underneath it. So as you pull it up, you can see that ribbon cable is attached. So grab the plastic, don't grab the cable itself and just gently wiggle this back and forth and that'll come off there. So what we're gonna do now is cover up any of these open ports. So when you put the conformal coating on, it creates a layer, like a boundary. So you won't be able to connect anything in here and actually still maintain your electrical connection. So things like this white plug that we just plugged into, this little black one, these RJ ports here, and then the sensor up here, and then these um, connections where the ribbon connection went. All of that I'll cover in tape real fast. And what that will do is it'll prevent that spray from going on them. I'm just creating like a, just a little bit of seal on here. And don't forget, take these things off when your stuff is still wet. If you wait for your stuff to dry and then try to take them off, it'll be a little more difficult. Okay, all right, last little piece on. Um, again, the things that I'm covering up are connection points, things that need uh, like the ribbon connection, make sure all those metal pieces are covered. This is the IR sensor. Um, we've got the RJ cable connections over here. And I'm not, like I'm not soaking this thing in. I'm gonna put probably five or six layers on there, but they're real light layers, just enough to cover it up. Um, that was a little too much. I just want to make sure that just little things are connected or uh, covered up. All right, we'll get ready to spray these. So this is the stuff we're using, it's conformal coating. 
Um, it'll actually waterproof the motherboard. I'm just gonna go for, I don't know, five or six light coats. Put a light coat on, let it tack dry. Um, what does it say on here? I don't even know what it says. But I'll just do a couple quick coats and let it dry. Um, before I let it dry, I will go through and I'll take off all the tape. And yeah, we're done. I'm doing two right now. I got two different fans we're doing for two different fans. So I'll just get them all done. And okay. Make sure you don't get them on the connections for those. So you can see it just goes on clear. Okay. Kind of what it looks like when you get a coat on there. I'm trying to move slow for you. Okay. I'm just giving it a couple seconds in between each coat. Make sure you got proper ventilation. This stuff's kind of it kind of stinks. So let's go for a couple more coats. trick for taking these things off when it's still wet is I have a pair of tweezers that we use. Um, I don't think we have the tweezers anymore. Oh, God. Needle nose pliers? What are we going to do? Alright, so the last coat. Everything's been going on pretty good. I've only done three coats. It's looking pretty good. So I'll just do three and then I'll remove the tape and then I'm going to let it sit here and dry for probably an hour um, before I go to install it. Yeah. I know I said tweezers, I lied. one time until the stuff was completely dry take the tape off yeah that was that was a mistake you can see the coating on the tape how oh, it makes it shiny all right so we'll let that dry once you get the three screws in there, don't over tighten them. Um, you risk cracking the motherboard. Run this wire back underneath the motherboard. There's like a little track right there underneath. And then you pull this back a little bit to run the wires there. And that's the smaller of the two connectors. And the other connector will be over here. These just stay out of the way. So this goes like so. Bigger connectors go together. And then as you flip this over, just make sure you don't pinch the wires in this, um, the inside part where the fan is. These two connect up here. That's for the motor control. And then you can see here, just make sure you don't pinch these wires. I'm not sure you can take away the screws. Where your screws will go through. Okay, that's all. We'll go ahead and put these four screws back in. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. These will stay out. These are gonna be your power cords. 
And now this is ready to get installed in the vans. Thanks for watching.